This Office Mix is going to talk about what is new in the Dynamics AX user experience. For all of those people that are on CTP7, it will show you what you will get when you upgrade to CTP8, and ultimately what you will get when you upgrade to the February release of Dynamics AX. One of the changes we made that's got the customers the most excited is our ability to personalize. And in CTP8, we've introduced the personalization capabilities so you can start to personalize some of our forms by right clicking on a field and saying personalize. I could come in here and hide this field. I could rename it. I could include it in the fast tab summary. I can skip it in the tab sequence or I can mark it as not editable. In this case here, I'm going to hide it. Now that field no longer appears on this form. I can hide other fields I no longer want in a very similar fashion. And I can also take a field like routes in this case, and I'm going to say personalize it, and I can move it left. I can keep moving it left until I get it into the location that I want it to, to be in. This is the way that you move a field around in CTP8, and this is the basic capabilities we have in CTP8 for personalizing a form. With the current version of Dynamics AX, we've now enhanced the personalization capabilities substantially. You still have the ability to right click and say personalize on any field, but now if you want to do multiple personalizations on a single form, it's best to go to the options, personalize this form. This will open up the personalized toolbar, which will allow you to do all of the personalization tasks. So I'm going to demonstrate one of the things that would be typically done on a grid. So in this case, I'm going to select the hide tool, and I'm going to hide a few of the columns that I don't think I need in the customer list. I'm going to hide the is merged column, the extensions column, and the telephone column. And you can see when I get out of that tool, now those columns have gone away. I also want to add a field. So I can click on this plus button, and then I have to select the, the grid as the place I want to add a field. And now this will show me all of the columns in the customer field, the table that I may want to put in here. And I'm going to add in the credit limit. Click insert. Now you can see the credit limit field here at the end. And I'd like to move that field, so I can click on the move tool. We now have the ability to drag and drop fields wherever you'd like. And in this case, I'm going to drag the credit limit field to be between the name and the invoice account. And now you can see that's where the credit limit field goes. So much richer capabilities for personalizing than we had before. The best part about personalizing now is you have the ability to manage those personalizations. If I wanted to at this point, I could say clear in the form and go back to its original state. I also have the ability to export this to a file. And then from that file, I can then send it to somebody else, one of my coworkers. They could import it and they could get those same personalizations. So very nice capabilities with our personalization 